All right, I should be live in just a moment. Oh. OBS is already yelling at me. <laughs> well, I see it. I think it stopped. Skype sharing, though. Yeah. Mm. Let me just try and find my frame rate, make sure I'm not... Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, I'm not accidentally doing it at 60 frames per second. Yeah, share window. Alright, that should be screen sharing. Streams live, everyone sounds good. Alright. Time for more dust. Yep. Everybody get your brooms ready. Going to be so dusty. The final boss is just going to be a vacuum cleaner. So what makes you think you're getting pretty close to the end of the main story? Just... Um... Kind of. I looked at a fact. Did you cheat? I cheated. Oh, that just brings me back to the top. Is it like you're getting close to the end of the plot, but like there's tons of side stuff and exploration that you haven't done? Kind of a yeah. thing? You were saying you think that there are a lot of areas that are just only the side stuff. That's kind of cool. Usually in games like this, like, there's not that much. It's usually like little offshoots of the main areas, not like entire areas that are just like, eh, <laughs> optional. Nope, well, there is a ton of side content. You just gotta max out so that you have max stats, though. So you can have the craziest fidget imaginable. The maximum fidget. Well, the guy did recommend being about level 40, and I'm level 22, so I might have to do some off-screen grinding. You have to upgrade from fidgeting to full-on uh, restless leg syndrome. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Bonnies. Not, you know, the bunny people that are everywhere. No. I like how there's like these cute little bunnies right outside this very sinister, like, lightninging forest of doom. <laughs> you may not have that wall chicken. It is not yours. Apparently not. Nope. <laughs> it is it is the wall's chicken. That one is the most mysterious of them all. We'll never know its secrets. No. Nope. I know its secret. It is the secret that it's tasty. I was gonna make a chicken sound, but I thought better of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. New chapter. Whoa, what? Oh. Okay. Sure. Screen transition chapter. I was worried I didn't know which way to go, but apparently this is the right way to go. Go me. Accidental progress. The best guy. Unless you're actively trying to avoid progressing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like in every Assassin's Creed game ever. It, it, it's that, like, walk down a corridor, and then you see it keep going, so you're like, ah, I better turn around and check out the other path, and then it puts you past a cutscene, you can't turn around and go check out the other one. <laughs> yep. Hey, more bunnies. Don't die easy. Oh, you're in chapter four now. Do enemies in this game seem to have a level? I don't know if they have one indicated on screen. They're definitely getting harder. Right, like if you went back to the early areas, they'd be easier to kill now. Are they harder because they're different enemies that are stronger, or are they like... Have you seen the same enemy that's just in a new zone and therefore tougher? That's 
Sorry, I didn't hear that. I was lightning things in the face. <laughs> are, are they only tougher because they're different enemies that are tougher? Yeah, I think so. It's not like you get the same enemy that is, like, leveled up or anything. No, the wolves are definitely new. <laughs> oh, good wolf. <laughs> he was guarding that chest with your life. That's not what I wanted to do at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's open. Ooh, plan. Pendant of the Madman. I don't know if I want that. There needs to be a game that has blueprints, but they're just like green or something. They just <laughs> call them green prints. <laughs> Why they gotta be blue? Oh. Purple print. Yo. Oh, well, there's something sneaky here. Bridget's all like thingy. There's only thingies. Oh, I went so high I broke my combo. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What is it that Fidget kind of gets that little thought bubble about? Is it just if there's like a hidden item or...? If there's a chest or if I can drop through a platform. She can't seem to resist letting me know that, yes, you can drop through platforms. Oh. I guess, I guess maybe, maybe there might be some like hidden drop down points. Maybe. Scattered about. And so maybe she tells you. It's just programmed in that whenever you can drop down, she goes, Ah, oh, you can drop down. So that if you're just walking across the ground, and she does it, you're like, wait a minute. Okay, ooh. Okay. Whoa, what was that? Like the snow What's... what? We should be careful. The snow? No, no it rumbled. Oh. Don't look at me, you're the one who can't fly. Yes, but you're the one with the big mouth. Hey! He's got you there. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be like the winter this year, right? Yep. <laughs> Apparently. I don't know what they base those long-term forecasts on. Like, I don't know. I guess. I'm out of fidget juice. No. Go drink some fidget aid. You gotta juice the fidget. Just squeeze it until pee comes out. I don't want to do that. I didn't want them to do it to the cat either, but the vet did it. <laughs> when they need a urine sample from a cat, they just squeeze the cat until pee comes out. <laughs> I guess if it works. They have a medical degree and everything, so I'm guessing this is a tried and true method. It just really kind of startled me the first time it happened. So. The great traitor. I mean, you can't really You're tell the cat to pee in a cup. <laughs> right. So. His name. His actions ended many innocent lives. And while his spirit may be absolved now, we remember only his life and the tragedy it wrought. It felt really, really bad. He seemed truly remorseful for his actions. Perhaps he was. Perhaps we were to accept his remorse. This would not bring. So if your cat back. hates going to the vet, Let that might be why. Actions any more than because they squeezed it. Very well. I'd be resentful too, honestly. Anything new in my inventory? Uh, yes, this oh, thing. Oh yeah. Your transaction. I don't know what it was, but you sold it. It said it was a shell, but it looked like an oak leaf. It's an oak shell. Wouldn't that just be an acorn? Thorin oaken shell. But your combos are just oh like god, these things walk into new areas. Guess we forgot about these things. The screen sharing is going nuts. Yeah, it is not happy. Too many explosions and particle effects. Wolves! At least it's not the uh, Guild Wars particle effects before that first patch. It's still pretty ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty close. I think what gets me about the level ups is I very often level up from combo bonuses. So it happens after combat. 
Well, it'll happen, like, my combo breaks, or I get the bonus, and then I just... So it makes the noise, like, hey, your combo broke. Because you're bad at games. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, boom, level up explosion. Let's get some more basic attack. You get a lot of points for those level ups. You can't get any more fidget. I need to level up my health. Yep. So much combo. Are you gonna be at a point where you can only put points into fidget every four levels? You just, got just about the wrong best. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it'd be particularly helpful. I think, so I, already, heard... I, think I already have that anyway. Is there all? The wrong everything, the wrong <laughs> shoes, the wrong hat. I heard you beat a uh, battle block the other day. Yeah. It was pretty ridiculous. The last few levels are pretty nuts. Then the ending credits were just like, wait, what? <laughs> like the, the ending cutscene and stuff. Was there another whale? I. I don't think so. You remember there was, that. There was a great ending credit song, though. Gotta go back and play that one of these days. Yeah. Yeah, take that! Mimi! Don't hold back, Fidget. <laughs> the difficulty. Oh, yeah! Gets, what'd you get? Double jump. Oh, oh nice. yeah, because you were having so much problems going to space before. Well, now I can go to space, then I can go to space again. <laughs> okay, so that's why the guide suggests getting at least this far before you start trying to clean things up. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> now you can, or you can go to space and then orbit the Earth. Are you playing Dust or Kerbal? <laughs> Cram fidget in a spaceship. I'm okay with that. Oh my god, look at all the treasure I missed on my map. <laughs> <laughs> you missed all the treasure. So is combat kind of button mashing the game? Or is there a little bit more strategy to it? It's a little mashy. It definitely sounds very mashy. <laughs> click, 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 click. Yep. All the clicking. <laughs> Any game with a combo meter, it's gonna yeah. have a lot of clicking. Hey, guess what? You just got double jump. Here, use double jump. Do it. I like how the double jump makes like wings fly out of your back. This is a reason. Ooh, treasure. You're a bird. That's just secret. He's actually a bird. You oh, that was a hard by, one. You were raised by the Chozo. Maybe you're actually just a giant fidget. Maybe. Oh god. That's why you've got that hat on so nobody can see your anime eyeballs. And your bad ears. Well, now I have <laughs> nightmares. Oh, this platform comes back. Uh, it would have been funnier if it didn't. It's just gone forever. You can space, you don't need platforms. I can only space when there's enemies nearby. That's true. Snowsuit? See, that one should be a white print. Yup. They should just be different colors. Yeah. It's, it's like if, if you get like a different color one because it's a different rarity, it's just called that, well, you know, that color. Right. Fuck off, Wolf. I don't have time for you. Like, like the Diablo ones, like if you get a set one, it should be a green print. Yeah. Like the, the wrong stuff. The legendaries should be orange prints. Everything dead. Everything super dead. I'm still using the Diablo belt that just has a chance to blind people, and the concept <laughs> of that really makes me laugh. It's pretty good. 
I had a belt for a while that gave, uh, it made Locust Sorry, Swarm guys. slow enemies, Ooh. which was really Stupid handy, because really I was using the one that makes it spread, one, the rune that makes it like spread to multiple done. enemies, oh, so I just right. hit like one enemy and then they, every this single enemy in the room was poisoned idea, and slowed. <laughs> clear some of the snow Is the actual stream itself still going? You mean make another I will check. Idea? That's the idea, yes. You're crazy. I love it. Really? Do I need to be the voice of caution here? Need I explain how creating yep. an avalanche puts okay. us all in danger? It's really the only way, Aura. Anything yeah, makes you think Aura, it wasn't? It really is. Oh is god, it? I think that was the first time I actually heard Fidget's go. voice. Let's do this thing. Awful, isn't it? <laughs> it's so high. <laughs> What's who's worse, Fidget or Navi? Well, that did something. Fidget. Navi doesn't sure talk is. that much. You know what I'm <laughs> That's true. thinking. So, in Hyrule Warriors, huh? since they need to have the characters talk to some extent, or at least, like, at least in text form, to, like, give you the, you know, orders and instructions across the battlefield and stuff, you know, the other characters just have their little chat bubbles pop up. <laughs> Link's fairy talks for him, and the fairy's name is Proxy. Oh. <laughs> Dust, be careful. Watch overhead. The snow is not the A only little thing on the we nose. Were loose. Did Navi say anything other than "Hey, listen"? Or is that I, like, watch out? So. Oh, maybe something like that. It was oh, like watch one or it. Two. I mean, it was M64, so she's had a handful of voice clips. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't think that it was going to have been I think, a lot. I think she also just said "Link" sometimes. Would they, though? Because sometimes if you name yourself something different, it seems like the sort of thing that they would just leave oh, out. That's true. Usually maybe they it, just call you hero or something weird. Maybe maybe it was look. Yeah, maybe I think it was that. Like if she's, like, notifying you of, like, a thing. Right. Because I think the Zelda games have pretty much always let you rename your character, right? Yeah. 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 Or at least, like, your save file. Right. Which is just kind of tends to be the name of the character. That's two. Not, not enough. Yeah. Not enough. We'll need to find more if we're going to clear away that snow. We really should get you someplace warm, Fidget. I think you're coming down. I still need something. to stop naming myself. Never. In. <laughs> male protagonist games. I never name any character myself unless, like, it's a game where the character doesn't have a name. <laughs> yeah, like the Pokemon games or something. Like, if there's a default name, I just use the default. Oh, well, don't worry. You're the, uh, you're the antagonist in all of Yami's <laughs> Pokemon yeah. saves. Yep. Oh, man, this guy's a pain in the ass. He's got a parry. I am oh, parrying him. You did. <laughs> he's still... He's still a pain. Or he's not a donkey. I still don't know why, but my uh, rival is always Ziggy. Just cuz. Doesn't even play guitar. I think you were actively playing that song in Guitar Hero <laughs> when I started one of my games. And <laughs> it was like, okay. So that was Ziggy Stardust, Pokemon Trainer? I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure it was. Probably when I, I... Would that have lined up with when I finally got Ruby? Yeah. I kind of remember sitting on your bed watching you guys play Guitar Hero and being like, eh, I'll play some Pokemon. You can get Omega Ruby. I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't... I don't really care about it either. I no. haven't even heard of what that is. Are they remaking third they're, gen? Oh, they're, re yeah. they're remaking Ruby and Sapphire. With all of the other with, later gen, yeah, for 3DS with like XY engine. I don't really understand the appeal of that. I mean, they did it with gold and they, silver. They did it with some of them more to like bring the systems and the Pokemon that are available in those the games, like up to date, so to speak. Right, you like, could theoretically catch everything, and put it all onto one card. Yeah, game. without having to go back like two generations of consoles. <laughs> 
because like the original red and blue were for like Game Boy. Right. Not even like advance or just Game Boy. <laughs> so like if you had to go all the way back that far and like bring them up like one gen per you know Right, because each system only ever is backwards compatible to the previous like form set. factor. I forget, was there a point where it actually was impossible? I don't know if there was, it just gets really obnoxious. Because I think every single one has been able to upload to the next one in some way. Sometimes you needed to, like, upload them to, like, Pokemon Stadium or something and then use that to, like, download them into the next one. And the newer ones have been better about just giving you an option to, like, you know, bring stuff forward. One of them had that obnoxious Safari Zone thing, where there was, yeah, like, the... the, like, Friend Zone, or whatever it was. Yeah, <laughs> Friend Zone. The I think that might have been what it was. It was, like, uh, you could only yeah. do six at a time per day. Mm. And, like, you weird. still had a chance to not catch it. Or I something just... weird. I... Did you? I thought you always caught it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you always caught it, no matter what. It was just, like, dumb, because you had to, like, find it. Right, if you had to find, like, that particular lake in the swamp area. Oh, it was bringing them up from the GBA ones to... To... Um... Whatchamacallit, Diamond and Pearl, yeah. I think. And that was also the one where, like, well, if is... you weren't moving something over specifically, but you happened to have the cartridge plugged in, like, other stuff would appear. Yeah. I remember, like, borrowing the cartridges from other people so that you could legitimately catch the exclusives from... Because, like, we never had, like, right. three versions or whatever. They kind of did that with X and Y as well, didn't they? Because there was a thing where, like, if someone was on your friend list, then, like, stuff could show up at random. Yeah, like, you go into their... I forget what it was called, but you go into, like, yeah. their park, and they have certain Pokémon tied to them. Yeah, and, like, they had, like, an element designated from, like, their Pokémon ID. No, I don't think I knew that. Yeah. And, like, if you had actually street passed with that person or something, it, like, unlocked, like, one or two additional things that you could find. I just hit 50 uncleared Poke passes this weekend. <laughs> I think I've got like 70 or something. It I'm... goes up to 99, so I'm not even. Mocking. Yeah, I know I cleared them in March. I think I have close to 99. I haven't gone back to it since I finished it, so. I also have like something like 35 on, Fire Emblem Mystery <laughs> Passes. Be careful, Dust. Yeah, I, I beat the main game and, like, flew to the first post-game area and was like, all right, time to do all the awesome stuff, and then never picked it up again. I did all the stuff, and then I There stopped. is no awesome stuff. There really isn't. That's the problem. It's like, you could battle Serena, like, once a day. If you I thought it was once like a it. week, or twice a is week. Is it once a week? Maybe it is. Like, on a specific day or something. Ow. And, like, she gives you a Mega Stone, I think, and that's about it. I'm really not a big fan of the, like, this Pokemon only shows up on Tuesday, and... Yeah, it's a little... The ones iffy. that are, like, you can visit once a day and they'll give you a free berry, that's fine. The path above has been made clear. Mm -hmm. Onward and upward. But, like, what was it? The, the, one of them had, like, the balloon, the purple balloon Pokemon. Oh, yeah, Drifloon. Yeah, yeah, that was, like... It was a random time and day, and I think mine was like 10 a.m. on Wednesday, <laughs> or something. And then you're just like, "Well, what if I have stuff to do?" Oh, like, hello. Yeah. Like I had a class that semester. That, oh. <laughs> Key. Oh balls! Oh balls! Snow. <laughs> I keep thinking you're saying kitty when you see a key. Key. Close enough, maybe it's a kitty key. Oh, yeah, I jumped right oh, into no, it. Geez. Ow, ow, oh, ow, God. ow. Oh. I didn't realize it was coming from above. That did a ton of damage, didn't it? Yeah, it was a little okay. low, but yeah, it did pretty it's hard. Avalanche. What do you expect? Everything in this game hits pretty hard. Everything is an avalanche. Now you know, oh, now wow, like, wow, oh, was... God. Now when a boss hits you and does like half your health, you can say, oh man, he hits like an avalanche. <laughs> I can express boss damage in avalanches. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Something one shots you. You can say like, "Oh man, that was like three avalanches." The power of one punch. 
That is a fantastic standard of measure. Bring my map up. Okay, there's something. Oh, wait. I think I want to go. Yes. Key. Yeah. You can't go back. Damn it. I'm trying to time it. Yeah, so, so you get up while it formed. Oh well, that will give me time for my extremely slow regen ring to... Does it regen you all the way to full? Yes, eventually. Oh, nice. so like, eight hit points at a time? <coughs> yeah. It's like, yep. <laughs> it's like as slow as the, the Dark Souls 2 one. Like, every so often, if you look up, you might see it regen like a pixel, and you're like, great. I still think more games need to have the uh, Kingdom Hearts style health bar where it just gets longer and longer until it starts going circles around the screen. I love that. Because it, it, it's like, it gives you a good, like, gauge of how you're growing to actually see the health bar get bigger. Right, instead of it to... just being a static length and being like, right. well, now I have twice as much health, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah. I, I, I do actually really like the physically getting larger health bar. And it was just really funny in Kingdom Hearts because it went like all the way across the bottom of the screen. You were just like, what? <laughs> when is it going to stop? And then it didn't, doesn't it like swirl around their portrait? Yeah, it, it starts at like the bottom of the portrait, kind of. Or did it again? Loops around it once and then it continues off the screen. <laughs> like once it hits the spot where it would connect, it just right. keeps going straight across. And, and the, in one, the MP did the same thing, just around the outside of the HP. Right. In two, they made it a static bar. I also like the uh, the Kingdom Hearts one boss he boss health bar style. Oh, uh, with all the just different colors. a different color. I think didn't we say like Bayonetta or something does that? Yeah, a lot of those character action games yeah, do that. Do the colored bars. It's it's a, probably not that intuitive to do it by colors because then you like you don't know what it means until you've actually fought one of them. Well, Once. then they had then they had the stupid yeah. There's seven health bars, but there's also an invisible health <laughs> bar that starts halfway through that you can't see until you yeah. get that. Two of the enemies in the game had like so much health that there was an invisible health bar that you had to break through first. It was like what Sephiroth and one of the golems. Yeah, Ice Titan. I think. Never not fidget. Always fidget. I am getting levels faster than normal, at least. That's good. When I get to the boss fight, that shoves my shit in, we'll at least know why. It's always fun when you can actually, like, you find a spot in the game that's, like, a little bit tougher than you should be doing, but, like, you're good enough to actually pull it off, and so then every time you kill something, you just get, like, Loads of XP. Alright, he ran off screen, I'm leaving. <laughs> or like those bonus enemies, like the cactuars and stuff, that always give you like massive amounts of XP if you kill them, and then you level up like three times, and you're just like, yeah! So satisfying. It's basically the XP equivalent of the treasure goblins in Diablo 3. Do I want to fall down here? It seems like a bad idea. Oh, there's a shop. Ooh! It's the super hidden ah, shop again, that you can never return from. That's bad. I don't think I have anything new for him anywhere. I do not. Your transaction. Thank you. Can you craft anything awesome? I should check. You're getting all those purple prints. Oh, this is pretty good. Need eight leaves and one crystal. I still think they're shells. No, oh, they, they are shells, and you thought they were leaves. Right. Yes, okay. <laughs> Alright, you can just buy stuff anytime you well, it's want. A, it's, it's a pelt. Your trend. That's what it is. No, it wasn't okay. either of those. Okay, it looks kind of pelty, I guess. Yeah, I can see that. Regen, 20 defense, 8 luck. Yeah, luck. Be the luckiest person. There needs to be a game that has, like, the, you know, typical, like, gambling minigame stuff, where, like, the luck stat actually... Oh my actually god. ...is, like, how... Double fidget power. Oh, jeez. 
I think whoever was in the chat the last time we played said something about that, how there's like a lot of high tier stuff that's just like multiplies your fidget damage so much that it's just broke. I only need one of these. But there needs to be a game that has like, you know, the casino mini game stuff where like your luck stat would actually influence like how often you win. That would be kind of cool. Or like if there's like a poker game or something, like it being having more luck would make you actually get better hands more so, often or something. Right. Ball out. Oh, does it actually do that? Yeah, New Vegas, like to win to win the um you know, get kicked out of every casino for winning too much, you need if you have like seven or eight luck, you can just play blackjack and you'll win nine times <laughs> out of ten. That's awesome. That's like that like makes sense. If you're gonna have a game oh, that has a luck stat. I can't make that, that yet. If there are things that would actually make sense, it should do it. 1.2 XP bonus is pretty nice. Mm. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, I already have this one. Let's put that on. I think Red Dead was the only game I ever like compulsively did all of the gambling in because I was trying to get all of the gambling related achievements. You didn't do, did you do all the board games in Assassin's Creed 3? Oh, they were oh. bad. I like, I couldn't beat Checkers in 4. Like, I played oh, yeah. 10 or 15 games of Checkers one night and just like, screw this, I'm out. I, I walked in, you were just playing Checkers, and I'm like, what are you doing with your life? Well, see, the other games were awful, and I played them like two or three times and managed to get lucky enough to beat the... AI. So once I got the other two, I was like, okay, I can at least win checkers. That's fine. And I don't know if I just suck at checkers or if the AI for checkers was like super duper oh, dude there. boss level. I don't even know what. Checker pro? Yeah, it, it was it was absurd how many games of ch checkers I had to play. I'm like, there's two rules in checkers. It's <laughs> not that complicated of a game. By, tr you know, trial and error, you would think you'd win like 50% of yeah. the time because it's not really like a big in game long strategy yeah i mean there are some the strategies but yeah it's, it's not like they were making you play chess or something right that's the thing like if, if i suck at chess i don't feel that bad because chess is a complicated no, game that's, checkers that's, is not oh. there is nothing oh god you went oh. for a ride you gotta go up yeah oh well, i figured there might be something else in there since i felt yeah. like i jumped off early but nope no such luck i hate that when like you think you screwed up, so you're like, oh, I gotta go back and get the thing that I, you know, see what I missed, and then you missed something, and you're like, oh, that was a waste of time. <laughs> I keep doing that Diablo of boarding hallways and turning around and being like, all right, let me go back to that first one, and it's literally like two pixels of map that yeah. I didn't uncover. With like nothing there, like yeah. a, a barrel or something. Not even. But then you might kill the barrel, and it might drop a legendary. <laughs> no, I just keep blinding the barrels. I had a legendary from a barrel, and I had a legendary from a corpse. Get like, down. You know, examine the corpse, and it might drop some cash. I don't know what this is, but it's probably important it later on. Looks like on. an hourglass. Yep. Side quest, maybe? Maybe. Oh, I actually have all the treasure in this area now, so... Maybe oh, crap. Well, that explains why guys were falling from the sky over here. Oh. <laughs> One of the characters in Tales of Zillia gets the most ridiculous, like, passive skill if you get that far. Which is, if you successfully evade an attack with a backstep, it just stops time for a couple seconds so that you can just wail on the enemy. For everyone? It, it's, it's one specific, yeah, it, that specific character has the skill, but if they successfully do it, it freezes all the enemies in time. Well, I guess. And everybody just gets to beat on them. That's kind of awesome. And it's a it's a link skill. So if you link with that character, then it it works for you too. So right. like if you link with them, and then you're good at doing the back steps, you just back step, and then all the enemies are, are like, ah. And there's there's no cooldown. As oh, frequently wow. as you can successfully pull it off, it'll just do it. <laughs> it's so good. Sneaky box. Ooh. I like sneaky boxes. Another pendant. We're getting all these pendant things. Snake hiding in it? Oh. Oh, it's snake. Did <laughs> they just run away from you? They look Apparently scary. when I parry them, they just get scared. Sure. Fear of parries. 
They've been playing too much Dark Souls. They're like, oh god, he parried me, I'm going to die now. <laughs>